Assalamualaikum. I am Kumama. Today I will tell an interesting story from Cambridge Reading Adventures. Little Fence Fox and Jerboa. It was night in the desert. Now that the heat of the day had gone, it was time to go hunting. Little Fence Fox was hungry. He looked out of his hole. Little Fence Fox was only a cub, but he was sure that he was going to be a great hunter. I shall catch my own supper tonight, he said to his mother. I have strong legs to help me run fast, he told himself. He wriggled his ears. My nose and ears are very special. I can hear a jerboa a hundred meters away. I can smell it too, he said. Sniffing the cool night air. Tonight I shall catch a jerboa. It will be easy for me because I'm so quick. On the other side of the hill was a smaller hole. Out popped two tiny ears. They then two bright eyes and a little nose popped out too. It was Jerboa. Am I safe? He wondered. Will anyone eat me? Jerboa hopped out of his hole to look for something to eat. He did not know that little fence fox was on the other side of the hill. Jerba could not run fast. Look at me, he said. My back legs are too long and my front legs ones are too short. Why are my back legs so long? All I can do is hop. Jerba turned his ears this way and that way, listening for danger. Little Fence Fox was not far away. He saw Jerboa and started to creep over to the other side of the hill. But on the way, he spotted some crickets. He forgot all about Jerboa and gobbled up the crickets. Yum! But he was still hungry. Little Fence Fox listened. He heard something move. Something was hopping along on the other side of the hill. What was it? It was too loud to be more crickets. Could it be a nice juicy jerboa? Yes, it was. It was jerboa coming out to look for something to eat. Little Fence Fox waited for Jerboa to come by. He waited and waited and then he got bored. He found some eggs in a bird's nest and ate one of them. He forgot all about Jerboa. A lizard scuttled by. Little Fence Fox gobbled it up. Yum! But he was still hungry. Then he remembered Jerboa. He stopped still and listened. I can hear Jerboa, he said, and ran as fast as he could towards the sound. He got closer and closer. When he was almost in front of Jerboa, he opened his mouth to snap him up. Jerboa pushed hard with his long back legs and jumped as high as he could and as far as he could. What happened? said Little Fence Fox. Where is Jerboa? Where did he go? Little Fence Fox was only a cub and he still had a lot to learn about hunting. Jerboa smiled. 
Now he knew why his back legs were so long. He could jump right over a fox's head. He hopped away to find a beetle for supper.